I I believe we are live right now. <laughs> I I think so. The lights are flashing, the microphone's working. Is there anybody still out there? Can you hear me now? I sh should be that Jared guy. Can you hear me now? Or who who was the Verizon guy? Uh, hopefully the microphone is working. Are we good? Let me know. All right. Who wants to do some wood turning? All right. Um, sorry about that, guys. I have no idea. I shut the whole program down and brought it all back up, and then everything's just working fine. It's like, I don't know, one of them internet glitches. All right. Um, so, I like I, uh, um, um, in the past, if you have the first time on, my wife Robin is on the phone with me. So if you have any questions, just throw them up in the chat and she, she will relay them to me. If you have any questions, not criticism, like don't sing because it would not be a woodshop live stream without singing and a little bit of juggling at the end. Who doesn't want me to sing? That's just mean. I was going to try out for the voice. All right. So I have this beautiful piece of spalted maple burl I got from uh, Worldwide Burls. I You can check him out on Instagram. It's Worldwide Burl. And it is a beautiful piece of wood. So I'm going to turn a little hollow form out of this. Um, if you do have any legitimate questions, other than me not singing... You can leave leave them in the chat. Let me on the bench oh, over there. That that would be an easy wood chuck. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna mark an X on this, and we will we will use the easy wood chuck here in a second. Now Robin's tired. She just yawned into the, into the phone. She was all excited about it. A while ago and then it was like a big letdown me doing silent movie stuff all right but we're we're back all right it's all good everybody can hear me so I'll try and watch my language now because it was very inappropriate um, all right yeah it's got a little bit of uh, inclusion right there so I'm gonna get rid of that because it's not, uh, it's just kind of rot from the dry rot. And we will take that part of it off. Get that up there. Just like so. Um, are there any, are, are there any questions yet? Any, anything I need to field now that everybody can hear me? A beal tap? No, I haven't. I, I don't even know what that is. I've heard of the like the beal buffing system. Is it the same company? All right, I'm gonna take a roughing gouge and true this up, and then I'll then I'll start shaping it, and we'll then we'll get a tenon on it. All right, get the show on the road. And the lathe is, uh, I don't know, about 2,000. So we're putting together another uh, virtual craft festival for next month. And we're getting some people lined up for that. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. What was the question? Oh, nice, nice. Just 
Nice, David. All the basics. Going to start a channel just for Oh, okay. I haven't seen that, actually. It's from the same company that makes a Buffy. Yeah, I have, I'm not sure, actually, what it is. wood in it so it should be should be nice so what I'm going to do is turn a little a tenon down on this side all right we uh Jamie is starting his, a separate scroll saw channel that's nice that way I wouldn't get notified on the scroll saw videos I'm just kidding. Who doesn't love scroll saw? All right. Hey, Andy, how you doing? get this in the chuck and then we'll start shaping it and grab all of it can can you can you guys in the chat please tell robin to wake up because she keeps she, she keeps yawning and it it is super distracting <laughs> Yeah, we're we're troublemakers. We uh, so we the reason we didn't have a video on Friday is because we've been just swamped, and we helped Robin's sister move on uh, I think Thursday. I can't remember what day. I think Thursday, and then we painted the house. Came home after that, or no, it was Friday. Then came home after that, prepped the house, painted the house Saturday. And then we're working on the trim and getting the, um, we're doing uh, shingles under, the cedar shingles underneath the, the windows right now. So we worked on that all morning and now we're doing this and then we're going to go back out and work on it some more. Just trying to get it all wrapped up. Hey Brian, how's it going? Doing well? Got a beautiful piece of spalted maple here. All right. So, I'm just going to going to give it a little vase shape and then we'll then we'll start hollowing it out. All right. My face shield back on. I am a a worker, Jamie, and that's what I do. So I don't I don't get tired. The only thing I can't stand is sitting around. It drives me nuts. The DIY channel. Um. Yeah, we. Pro probably not. Oh, they're on Robin. If you go to Ro Robin's Facebook, she posts about three or four times a day of the house. <laughs> oh. Tony, that's not nice. You haven't heard it, though. We have, we have sound this time. <laughs> I 
Oh, it, I don't know, I just, <laughs> it might, I just, I don't know, it drives me nuts. <laughs> You've seen the pictures of me sleeping. It, that's my problem. If I sit down, I, I just fall asleep. So, I got to keep, keep moving. All right. It's super punky, so I'm going to turn on the dust collector. Oh, how is that? Is that, that, uh, hopefully it's not too bad. You can still hear me. Anything better than the last time? Yeah, probably. Yeah, we could we could do a little bit of color on it. What what color does everybody want? Let's take a poll. Or actually, I only have like three colors, so. Hey, Glenn, how's it going? An impressive what? Yeah, that's that's top of the line DIY right there. <laughs> you still there? Oh, it was... I was trying to turn the volume up. I don't have... Oh, maybe I have green. Let's find out. Let's get it... Get it shaped here in the middle. I think I have red, black, and I might have green. We'll... Let me... Let me grab it. If I if I do put color on it, you, you can blame it on somebody else. So won't get beat up too much. Yeah, it's got some beautiful, beautiful spot lines in it. It probably would look really good with color. <laughs> Aluminum color. That's a good one. Robin's whole house is full of wood color. Let's, uh, we'll switch the camera real quick, and gotta be blue. Uh, well, that, I'm not 100%, I don't know if we have blue. Let's, let's find out. Let me drill this out real quick, and then we'll see. Let me shut the dust collector off and see what we have. My, f my favorite is the, um, hang on, sold. See, my favorite's a scarlet. I do have blue. Nice, Paul. That is a good birthday present. 
Okay, you guys are going to have to fight over this because we actually do have blue and dark green. Is dark green, is that Irish green? We ha Okay, we have scarlet, black, dark green, and blue. Polka dot. We're not doing that. All right. Let's put a little hole in this thing. All right. Blue. All right. Blue it is. We're, we're going with blue. It's blue ice. Ugh. I'm all, I'm all uh, frazzled from the 25 minutes of silence that we just all went through. So, so I don't know what to do. What is the what? That is banter that Pat Lap and I made. Well, I take that back. Pat made most of it. All I did was turn the little rings on it. He did all the rest. So he, we did a collab. So we made two of them, and he's got one, and I, I have that one. And obviously, if you're here for the last live stream, you know I can't, I can't sing, but I also can't play any instruments either. So it hangs on the wall. Speed, uh, it kind of depends on the wood, but uh, slow is better. I mean, if your lathe only go to 300, do it at 300. But if it'll go down lower than that, I usually start out around 150 and then just kind of uh, test it. And if it's binding the wood up, I, I bump it up a little bit. So just kind of mess around with it to uh, to see. All right. All right, now we can get this thing out of the way. To play it out, bring this down, grab a different tool rest. Yeah, it just kind of Kind of depends on the wood uh, as far as what speed, but you don't want to do anything, you know, like a thousand or something because it, it uh, will just uh, um, um, burn the bits really fast and that's not good for them. They won't, they won't last very long. So, is everybody good with, with blue for this? Alright, alright, then we're going with blue. Let's get it. Well, I don't know, it's pretty punky. I think it would bleed through if we did a color on the inside too. Uh, what does blue and green make? I don't know, red? What does what does blue and green make? Okay, there's what is blue? Uh, speed what speed for hollowing? So uh, I I turn the lathe up fast. Um, so especially for like a piece like this, I'll I'll turn the lathe up uh, you know 2500. As long as it's a good solid piece of wood, I'll crank crank the speed right up. Run through these. No, I'm. Oh, it makes pretty. All right, all right. 
I'll go with that. All right, all right. How about that? And then it'll it'll probably only bleed through in certain spots when where it's really punky. We'll do that. All right. All right. Now let's now let's hollow it out. Man, there's a big dip right there. It's so soft. Yeah, it's it's going to come through in some strange places. All right. Well, we're er, we'll just do the inside that way everybody wins, right? Everybody's a winner. And, and uh, yeah, I have it running at 2,500. Let me switch cameras here real quick for you. I can. I'm going to try and switch cameras and screw everything up again. Bring that right down there. Get that. How's that? All right, that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll just do the inside after we get it hollowed out. Oh, that's right. Jamie has a giveaway. He hit just past 5,000 subscribers. So he's doing a giveaway on his channel. Put the link in there, Jamie. It, it ends tomorrow at midnight UK time. So that's like next month US time. Uh, the chisel one, this one right here is the number one hollower by, by Easy Wood Tool. It's the one Jamie's giving away on his channel. It's got that little, little teeny cutter on there. So, it works great for stuff like this. So oh, you can see I'm I'm not far over the tool rest and I'm just barely hanging on to it. Let's see how we're doing. We'll clean clean that out. Oh, nice, Ken. Nice. Very nice, Ken. All right. It's still, uh, uh, I'm probably about, it's still about that thick. All the way down feels, feels pretty even, except for right here. It, it's getting a little thinner, but we'll just keep working on it. And we want to get it, get it pretty thin, probably about that, the lip thickness there, because if we're going to put that dye in it, we want it to, Wanted to come through all of it. Thank, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Thank, 
just cause. He says just cause. Is it cause we have audio now? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what happened. It was the audio was all working in the background, but it wouldn't come through. Oh, oh, the Amazon link. Oh, I think he's talking about the Amazon link for the vacuum chuck. <laughs> oh, that really hurts, Jamie. Why, why, Jamie, why are you so against me singing? I actually, we had a couple of comments on the video after it went up about people telling me not to quit my day job. So, apparently you're not the only one. Who doesn't like Gilligan's Island? Yeah, that was just Robin leaving comments on it. Now, who doesn't like juggling, Valerie? That's just wrong. I could just juggle in silence. See, Becky wants to hear wants to hear the in ending the second chorus. Nice. Yeah, I couldn't remember all of it. I'm, I'm getting old. <laughs> I. <laughs> oh. I, maybe I'll put together a mixtape of me singing show tunes for you, Jamie. I could do all the classics. I Dream of Jeannie, Eddie's Father, Bewitched. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Ooh, family affair. I don't I don't remember watching it, but I remember the name. The Brady Bunch. Getting down there. I'm going to go a little bit deeper. And I'm going to use. Going to use the number two real quick. And get right around that, that shoulder. Andy, wake up. This is, this is prime time. Andy falling asleep. You woke up just in time, Andy, for the singing.
getting close. Me get just a little more around there. Robin is yawning again. I, 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 th I think like people are being nice in the comments, but and then you're just telling me the the bad ones about my horrible singing. All right, there we go. Now we'll come down that wall a little bit and then we'll go just a little bit deeper. Anybody out there? Have they, have they done anything fun, Summer? Yeah. On their summer vacation. Robin and I are going to try and get away for a couple of days after after Memorial Day. <laughs> How do you not go through it? Just go slow and and uh, just keep checking the wall thickness. Uh, you gotta cl you gotta clean clean the the chips out anyway every so often when it's a small hole like this. Four weeks in Spain. Oh wow, wow, that's amazing. Um, and they do have little calipers like this that you can take and put in there. And then it shows you at the end what the wall thickness is. So as you go down it, you can check and make sure it's the, it's the same all the way down. And they're just barely moving. It's probably like a little ridge or something in there. But then as you come down, you just... I'm right, right down in here. They're all even. And then right as I get into this part right here, they start to get a little thicker. So then that way you know... But on something small like this, you can feel, stick your finger in there and you can feel it. It's definitely thinner there than it is down there. What do I think of turning what? Uh, sweet gum. I don't know if I've ever turned any sweet gum. Maybe I did a long time ago. Oh, nice. Awesome. Tim, a little, got a garden, some food, and a pen lathe. Nice. Yeah, we've just been, in the last six months or so, we've just been working around the house, trying to get everything cleaned up, and... How about, how thick are the walls? Uh, they are, let's, let's see. Hey, Mark, how are you doing? Long time. We're doing well, we're just hanging out. So, can you see the camera there? So, let me see. Let me switch back over to the other camera. Oh, now you can't see it. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera. 
Okay, hopefully you can see that. So at that point right there and that flat one there is the wall thickness. So that's like 273 millimeters or roughly, you know, I don't know, three eighths or so. I mean, I'm not three eighths, three sixteenths. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. It's about the same thickness of that. I could actually just like measure it, if, but I don't have my, I don't have my tape measure out here. I have never turned lilac, Chris. We have a bunch of lilac bushes too. This one is the uh, number one hollower by Easy Wood Tool. And it has small little little carbide cutter on it. It works fantastic for hollowing out. I'm, you know, I'm that far out over the tool rest and you know, it's not trying to rip it out of your hand or anything. So, all right, we're down there. Uh, what is this? Oh, what is this tool? Oh, it, they're calipers. They're just set of calipers. So when you, I don't, I don't know exactly what they're called, but you put it in there and then it tells you out here on the end what, what it is, what the thickness is. So if, if the, let's just say the vase was, you know, an inch thick, if you, if when they come together in an inch, it'll be an inch out here, so you can see. And as you get down there, you can you can see where it's your wall thickness is right there. And if you if you like go past that point, you probably don't need these anymore. It's probably laying on the floor. But they're just like turning calipers. I don't know. They don't have like a brand or anything on them. I, Becky, I like them both. They both, both have their purpose. Both do the same thing. They both shape wood. Um, yeah, on like, like uh, really soft woods, the gouges do better, um, and then the carbide do better on on other things. So it just depends um, on what I'm turning. I have a full set of both of them, so I use, like you saw me, I use a roughing gouge to to true this up just a uh, quick way to do it works fantastic and then for like you know just kind of shaping it I use that same tool to shape it that I did did to uh, hollow it out Yeah, the lasers for doing hollowing work fantastic. I have one of Lyle Jameson's uh, setups and it uses a laser. Um, and, and if I was doing a bigger vase, I would have set that thing up. Um, so it's just kind of, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do it. All right, let's shut this thing off because it's loud. <laughs> right? It has been a crazy year, Mark. Just insane. They're just like non-stop. All right. Let's get this all cleaned up. All right. I have, uh, let me switch back to the other camera here real quick. And we'll, all right, oh, how's that? Is that good? All right, you can, I'm going to have a drink of water. And then we're going to put a little bit in this Dixie cup and mix up some, some of that scarlet red. 
and pour it in here. Who doesn't love scarlet red? I'm just kidding. We're going with blue. <laughs> Water. All right. Yeah, that is a pretty blue. Uh, I need a stir stick. Hang on. Do, do, do. Yeah, Lyle's, Lyle's setup works fantastic. Yeah, it has a laser on the top of it. All right. Let's uh, boom, switch back over. Oh, that is beautiful blue. You should be able to see now. There's a delay on it. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's super concentrated. Um, and this stuff is, what is this? This is trans fast dye. I have uh, I have some of the chestnut dyes too, and this and then this stuff. They were they were great. This stuff I just like mix up and put in a jar, and then you can use it. I have some over there somewhere that. It's been in the jar for a couple of years, and we still use it. Mark, they already they already voted, and wood turning is a democracy, so we're we're gonna color it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no! Broke your leg. Ah. Chris, that's a, yeah, that's not good right before summer. All right, it is beautiful. <laughs> this is going to be sick. Uh, uh, Stanley, the Transfast is uh, Woodcraft. Uh, that's where I got that. Um, I'm not... Oh, do I want some? Robin just said yes. I was just about to get a piece of wood and put it on a lathe. Then I got then then I got distracted. All right, hang on. I have to protect the lathe. All right, it would be be a mess. How about that? It's trans fast dye. I'll get the little thing again. And there it is. Is that upside down? That is upside down. There we go. Boom. Yeah, it's trans fast. And they have just any color you want. You can you can get there. And it's just a powder. So you just put in just a little teeny bit. Like I said, I have like mason jars where I mixed up, a, you know, like a quart of it. And then I'd been just using it out of that jar. Just take a sponge brush and use it. But it's been mixed up in there for a couple of years. So it lasts forever. I don't, I Jamie, I don't think it, the, I think being a slob is like one of the, would null and void the warranty. Oh, the trans fat? Yeah, I probably did put it in the Amazon link. Oh, look at that. And just pour it out through that hole. Okay. Uh, will it work with the Lumilite? I, that I don't know. Can you mix it into to resin oh it's only leaking out in certain spots yeah oh it's starting to leak out right there oh wait yeah it's just dripping out there so i think okay i i think we should uh should uh, 
just put it all over. Because it's seeping out. It's not even. And it came out that hole and got into there. So I think we should just put it all over. Uh, yes, the dye's a powder. Yep. All right. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to coat the outside. We're going with blue on the outside. All right. Yeah, just it's not coming out enough. There's just certain little spots. So let's get rid of this. I should probably. Yes, Chris. I. How are you doing? I have those pin blanks. Where'd they go? They were right. They were right here. We were just looking at them the other day. They were on the bench. We were trying to figure out something to something to turn. I have them. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Hang on a sec. I have to run into the house real quick. Um, say hi, Ro Say hi, Robin. Hi. So the dye is a powder. Who's that? Yes, the dye is a powder. Yes, it's. Uh, I mean they. They have different ones. They have liquid ones, but the, the ones, the, all those ones I just showed you are just a powder, and you just mix it up. All right. And put on some gloves, because this stuff is... Uh, yeah, Jamie, that sounds like a disaster. Probably should have left my board over here. That is pretty, though. Yes, very concentrated. So that little stir stick I had was, um, I, I'm not sure, it, you know, like a quarter of an inch thick or less. And I, all I did was put a little bit on the end of it. And it made, made this whole cup here, and it's... I mean, you can see how dark it is. Hey, Tony, have a good one, man. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. We'll try and get it in a couple little spots. And get it soaked down into. Yeah. Yeah, and and so with stuff like th with this dye too, it's you can let it dry, l let it sit on there for I don't know fifteen minutes or so, and then put another coat on. And what it does, it just gets it darker and darker. So um, some of you may remember the poison apple I did a couple of years ago. Um, um, when it, I first put it on, I think it was maple too, and it was almost pink, that scarlet red. It was almost a pink color, but we put on, I don't know, five or six coats of that, that, and it was just a deep, rich apple, candy apple red when you're done. So the more you put on, the more it will uh, darken up on you too. So yeah, yeah, it does look, looks pretty. So I will save that. 
and we will flip this thing around and take the foot off. Uh, sand it back and put more on. Yeah, you can you can do that too. Um, uh, will it lighten as it dries? That I think it will lighten up a little bit, but not a whole lot. It's um, like I said, that apple we did. It's it was I, I we wanted it apple red, and it took it took quite a few coats to get it that deep dark red. Um, so it'll lighten up a little bit, but not like a ton, I don't think. It is a little darker just because it's wet. Yeah, yeah, really. It brings it up and you can, you can sand it back a little bit and it would just leave the blue in certain spots, but yeah, it looks super cool. And all those little spalted lines in it, that spot right there where that knot is, I'm not sure what that is, but it won't take dye. It just ran off of it. There's two little white spots right there and I'm not sure why it wouldn't soak it up. Yeah, if you put a finish on it, yeah, the finish would probably darken it up a little bit. I can't remember. I think we did a spray lacquer on the on the po poison nap. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't don't use a whole lot of dyes, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty. All right, get this. Huh? I know it. I could have swore Jamie took my chuck key when he was here. I was about to snap. Right? Yeah, just like I when I didn't have sound there a while ago. Just but I was about to explode. So frustrating. <coughs> All right. Uh, All right, let me move this back out of the way for a sec. I gotta, gotta get in here and get the tail stock back up. All right. So we're going to use that same point right there to lock it down. A little bit of pressure on it, not too much. And then that way it will just automatically trues itself back up. Yeah, and then we can just sand that up and put some more uh, some more finish on it. All right, should be good. Open. little bit yeah it was just it was very frustrating Andy Change camera angles. All right. How about that one? Never be like that one better. Where you can actually see. Oh, it can. Well, then, yeah. Uh, trans tint can be mixed with resin. Sweet.
going to go right around that corner there. Uh, it's spindle gouge. This is a spindle gouge. And so is that one. This is just a little detail gouge. It's a spindle gouge. They're both spindle gouges, but yeah. Yes. Well, hang on. We're trying to take the flame part of it off or the basket off. It does if we just didn't dye the rest of it again. That, that's yep. Then you can make a little basket. That would be perfect. All right, we're gonna we're gonna dye it though. Let me get in there real quick and clean that up. Cut that out just a little bit. So I don't have a lot to hand sand. All right, let's run through. Oh, I haven't done a weeble weeble wobble for myself, Jamie. But I I don't really do it. Robin Robin would have to do it. I just I do the easy part. Would you make me a weeble wobble, Robin? A nice one. I'm going to sand it back a little bit just to see what it looks like. Then I'll put some more dye on it. So. Yes, it is. Uh, it, yes, an easy wood chuck. Yep. I have the pin jaws in there right now. Somebody just said, what's a weeble wobble? Oh, we are old. <laughs> if you don't know what a weeble wobble is, you're definitely not our age. How, how about the snake? The snake, the slinky, it's fun for a girl and a boy. I could sing that one. Yeah, yeah, Bruce, it definitely, it just give, yeah, it gives it a cool effect. It's still wet, too, so if you let it dry, it would probably, probably sand off a little differently than that. Is that uh, Jordan Woodworks, Bruce? Oh, awesome. Um, forest, I, so as far as the resin goes, it's, um, I, I don't know what kind of resin you're using because they're all different. The one I use is, it's basically a 50-50 mix, but when you get into doing, you know, like the Alumalite and things like that, I think they're done by weight. Um, 
So I just don't know enough about it. Zach Higgins has a YouTube channel, the In, in uh, V Woodworks, and he has a ton of excellent videos on resin. <coughs> All right. Is Valerie going to be okay with that if we do the bottom part of it light green? No, the earth is shaped like a hot air balloon right now. Oh, the earth is flat. <laughs> yeah, Forrest, you bet. Yeah, what, he's, he has a ton of stuff on how to mix it up. And he does live streams every Wednesday, I think, um, too. So, all right, what are we doing? Okay, let's put let's put a, just a little bit more blue up here, and then we'll then we'll mix up some more. What what did they say? Green? Do I have green? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I guess I it's dark green. All right, all right. I shouldn't. Have, Yes, he does. He lights it on fire to speed up the whole process. Jimmy is awesome. All right, let me, what are we doing? We're putting a little more, I need my, all right, all right. Let me get my glove, gloves back in. I'm very stressed out. The whole no sound thing just threw me off. Come on out to the garage with me, guys. I have to get another roll of paper towels. Getting a roll of paper towels out of the garage. I'm taking everybody on a road trip. That was paper towels. We're back. All right. I go through more paper towels than anything else. I, you knew the, all the words to slinky? That's awesome. I didn't. I mean, I, I just remember the jingle. It's something about fun for a girl and a boy. I didn't know all the words to it, though. All right, we'll do that. And then we'll put on the, put on the green. Well, now I do have to say that I think one of the last times that we like took requests and about color choices um it was a long time ago but I was I was doing a demo on making an urn and I don't know who it was but they mentioned it red so we have an urn up there that everybody wanted red and it looks like a hooker's urn or something it was just not not good choice Needless to say, no, nobody wants it. It's still on the shelf. <laughs> I think we need to put another 100 coats on it to get it to a, a brilliant dark red. All right. Coming back over. <laughs> All right, so here's the uh, uh, dark green, and so hopefully you can see that. It's actually red. 
it's like a terracotta red, the powder is. And so I'm just going to put on that little teeny amount. It is green, but it looks red. It looks red. We're going green. It looks red in the powder form. Well, we're about to find out. Robin just asked me if we're sure. Well, it says dark green on the side of it. it yeah, it's good. All right. It is green. All right. Look at that. The powder's all red, but the it turned green as soon as it hit the water. That's science right there. That's crazy science. All right. Get rid of that. More, more paper towels. If we put too many colors on here, it's just going to be muddy brown. So we need to limit our color color choice. Oh, that does look good together. Some of the blue's coming through underneath, too. I'm just kind of weaving it around, too, so it's... Get it down there. That's pretty close to Irish green, right? Kind of mix it in a little bit. Yeah, that looks cool. Very cool. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Avocado. Yeah. No, when it dries, it'll... It'll, uh, yeah, I think, so you can kind of see right there that it's it's starting to dry right there. So it's, it is lightening up, but then when you, yeah, when you put a finish on it, it'll, will uh, darken up a little bit. All right. Oop. Hang, hang on a sec. An ambulance just went by. Jack's going off in my ear. Yeah. Yeah. You get so you can see definitely see this is dry up here. And so it'll it'll dry out like that till you get get the finish on it. And I need to cut cut that on. Uh, right? Looking down on the earth. Yeah, it looks cool. And on with all the uh, dark spalting lines in it, you can still see all those. Yeah. Uh, does anybody in the chat know if the dye can be mixed with alcohol? I, I don't know. Um, I know, so like Jimmy Clues uses uh, chestnut. I got have some right here, and I know he puts. I, I'm pretty sure it's alcohol that he puts on it to, and lights it on fire to get it to dry faster. He uses the chestnut brand, and I don't know if it can be mixed with alcohol or not. But, and that's a liquid. All right, there we go. And then I'll, I'll I'll just cut that off by hand and and then uh, clean all the dust off of, and then sand that part. But yeah, yeah, it looks kind of cool. And they kind of 
kind of the little spot lines kind of look like continents and stuff. Stuff. It's not going to sit that way, though. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. That is uh, the trans fast. And it's just mixed with water. Yeah, you probably, uh, somebody asked if you could use a hair dryer to dry it. And I'm sure you could. It would probably dry it out pretty fast. Yeah, and then put on another coat. Like I said, it's, um, it, if you want like a suit, the one is, it's scarlet red. Um, but with just one coat on just plain maple, it almost looks pink. So you have to put several coats off if you want to get a deep red. So if you wanted a really deep, dark green, and this one said dark green on it, but to get it that super dark green, you need to need to put a few coats on it. Um, but it goes a long way. It's you saw that that little amount that I put uh, put on there. Um, I probably maybe put in the quart jars. I probably put two of those scoops into a quart jar, and it lasts forever. I've been using it for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Here's one of them. It's just a mason jar, and I did that, you know, it, it's at least a couple of years ago when we did the apple, and I just used a little bit every, out of it every time I need some, but that one's red, and then I have a, I, uh, I don't know where the other one went, but I had two more. I think I mixed up the green and the, and the black in jars like this, so that way I could just open this up, take a, one of those foam brushes, just dip it in there, paint on whatever I was trying to dye, and and seal the jar back up but it it lasts you know quite a while yeah oh they're there right there i actually already had the green mixed up uh no because they're they're sealed up in mason jars jamie so it's um that's the black so they have a little seal on them, so it it there's no uh, no mold or you know anything like it, stagnant water or anything. It it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell like algae. I think the dye kills kills any algae in it. So, but yeah, these jars with the seal on them, they actually they're not just like leaving a, a cup of water over there. Uh, I ha have I ever used it with airbrush and I have on a couple things. Um, I have a little airbrush and, and it goes on really well, it goes right through the airbrush. Just like, uh, you know, I, I paint with airbrush paint sometimes too. And it, it goes through just like that. Nice, nice and even, um, cause it is just water, but yeah, yeah, it does look pretty cool. I'm not chugging it, Andy. I have them uh, on the windowsill over here, so they're out of my immediate uh, thrashing area. I yeah, I'm always knocking stuff over, or stepping on stuff. Um, I have them up on the windowsill, so it's it's. Uh, I'm not going to get over there unless I'm actually looking for that. All right. Uh, oh. Um, I don't know. I I guess I put like a clear lacquer on the other stuff. Um, like a, an, an uh, just a clear uh, acrylic lacquer. I would would put over it um yeah after it completely dries it is spalted maple burl so yeah the only the only thing is like so if you want to do do uh if you want to put the dye on something you can't get it back out so make sure it's and because it it's 
yeah, it's just water and it bleeds. You can't just do like a bead on a on a bowl with it. It's going to bleed into the to the rest of it. So um, even if you put like a clear on the rest of the bowl and left the bead natural, it'll go underneath the clear and soak in. So make sure when you put it on that it's what you want to do and and, you know, what your plan is. Um, yeah, yeah, really well. It's uh, it'll make it just shine. But yeah, we got to let it dry for a little while, and I don't know, I'll throw some pictures up on Instagram. I'll get it cleared the next day or so, and yeah, throw some pictures up there. But yeah, it looks. Yes, Bruce, I am aware of your never ending love for Maple Burl. <laughs> yes, Andy, I'll. I'll uh, Get that little nub cut off the bottom and and dye that, and then I'll I'll clear it and I'll post some up on Instagram in the next couple of days. We're just um, seriously, it was like we're working out in the yard till like half an hour before we start, and we come in, get everything all set up <laughs> and to do this. We're trying to get we're running out of summer here, so we just got the house. We painted the house on Saturday. We're trying to get the trim done and the the cedar up, and then as soon as we get that done, we have to re pair our fence so we're running out of good weather for that so we're trying to get it all done but i will get get that up thank you valerie appreciate it all right guys um i'm gonna uh unless there's any other questions we'll wrap it up and we'll get back to work <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just we're trying to trying to get everything outside done we're in oregon so once it starts raining it doesn't stop again until the fourth of july so we we have to take advantage of the outside stuff when we can so we're that's what we're doing um but yeah we're we'll uh i'll get some pictures up it won't take me very long to 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 just cut that off and, and put a few coats on it. But yeah, it's still, and you can see there, definitely it's it's drying there and it, that's still wet. Yeah, so. How do you do that with the money? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, was he talking about the super chat? I'm not sure. Oh, that's right. We're supposed to get a little bit of rain tonight already. So, but it just for a day, it's just supposed to sprinkle here, Valerie. And then it, and then it's supposed to be uh, nice again, uh, Monday. It's just supposed to rain for just a little bit. Fingers crossed. How do you fingers crossed? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, somebody just came on, Ross. Uh, I just did this little hollow form, and we dyed it, top of it blue, and then the bottom of it green. And it's maple burl. And so I'm going to let it dry, and then I'll uh, put a couple of coats of clear on it, and I'll put a picture up on Instagram. But yeah, yeah, it looks super cool. I like it. And it's, yeah, maple burl with some spalting in it. So it has some cool lines, and... Yeah. yeah, just got done with it. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, and uh, oh, we got. Uh, I picked out a project for next week too, so we'll get that done. It's gonna be a fun one. It's a, it's a bunch of pieces project, my favorite. So we'll get that get that finished. There might even be a little bit of dying in that one too. So. Thank you. What what is a hollow form? Any anything like this? Anything that's actually hollowed out? Um, it's generally where you know, like a like a bowl's hollowed out too, but it's generally with a smaller hole, and you you actually go in with tools and and clean it out. So, if 
if it was, let's just say this shape and if the, the opening was this wide, it would be more like a vase. Um, so if you have a smaller hole on it, then, then the, then it is around, that's basically what a hollow form is. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what it, what it is, but it's, it's definitely not just, you know, a straight up and down vase that's the sides are gone straight down to into, or like a bowl. Yeah. How much? I, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how it comes out. That's my problem is, uh, I want to wait till it's all finished before I decide because <laughs> uh, like the projects we do on the videos every week, it's like, it's probably 95% of the time. It's the first time I'm doing that. So they, for me, they don't turn out, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it's not as good as I want it to be, but it's like the first time I made it. So I, that's what Robin said. She goes, there's stuff all over the house and I won't, don't want to sell it because it's not, you know, perfect. And so if I get it all done and it comes out beautiful, I will put it up for sale for, I don't know, probably close to a hundred bucks. Yeah. I'll put it up on the Etsy shop. Um, but it just depends on how it comes out. If, if it doesn't look, look great, then I probably won't sell it all given away a family member or something. I'll pawn it off on them for Christmas or a birthday. <laughs> oh. Uh, how long have I been turning? It's my mid twenties. Um, so probably 24 years. I think I was 25 or 26 when I started turning. I've been doing woodworking since I was a little kid, but then it got into, I had done a little bit of turning, you know, but just, you know, little, little stuff in high school and things like that. And then I got into it in my mid twenties and I just, and I haven't stopped. I turn turn all the time since since then. Um, there's only been a couple of times where I kind of slowed down a little bit or something, and then I started doing the YouTube videos in '07, and so it's pretty much with that. It's uh, every week I'm out here turning. I I turn a lot of times, almost every day, just doing doing little things or um, or working on the project project video that we're doing yeah yeah so it's been a while oh kevin yes that was a long time ago that to be honest with you i that is what got me into youtube with those duck calls and i'm not a duck hunter but it was a guy at work had broken one of his duck calls and wanted me to fix it. So I, I did and took it back to him the next day. And he, and he, he goes, well, how long did that take? And I go, you know, I just, I just made the, the barrel part of the duck call. And he, I go like 15 minutes and he just, he wouldn't believe me that it was like literally that fast to do it. So he came out that weekend. And uh, so I made him a couple of duck calls and he was just like, just didn't realize, you know, that what actually, you know, how fast it could be done or what, what went into it. And YouTube had like just started and I thought, well, I don't know, maybe somebody else wants to see it. <laughs> and that's what I did. So I just went out in the shop, turned the little camera on and started making a duck call. And that's, a, it all started with that. And I started getting questions and re people requesting you know, different, me to turn different things. So it all started with that duck call. <laughs> I think the first, the first, uh, four, three or four videos are duck calls. It's like, I don't know. I didn't know what else to do. It was like, I don't know. P people were asking questions about the duck calls. And then after that, they went into, you know, other things. Can you make a lidded box? Can you do this and that? So it all started with that squeaky little lathe. Yeah. Uh, do we have any collaborations coming up? I... Do we?
Oh, we do. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have the uh, virtual craft uh, festival coming up on the, I believe it's the 19th of September. So there's a ton of YouTubers getting together and, and doing a bunch of different things. So we have, we're going to have, uh, uh, who else did we, we get? We're, uh, gal's going to do like paint pour, um, and resin pour stuff. Um, yeah, we're trying to get like different things. So it's not all wood turning or, or, uh, heaven forbid scroll sign. Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> 2000s i know crazy times <laughs> 2007 oh yeah it was uh yeah it was fun it was uh just i don't know and here we are today still doing it it's crazy Oh, very cool. That's that's awesome, Jay. Look look at this. Jay. I have right here. You see that? That is the duck call mandrel. I I don't know if I have the I don't have the pin anymore, but it's a sixteen penny nail that you put in there. <laughs> that's it. That was the, the thing I made. I ha worked at Freightliner and I, the duck calls, you just slide them onto the tube and then there's that pin in there. So I went to work and I go, hey guys, can you make me one of these? And they took it down the machine shop and I had it by lunch. And it... Uh, what did I use for a camera back then? I think... Um, I think it was like a little Panasonic handy cam. You know, I mean, it, it had a tape in it. I believe it had a tape in it. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it was an SD card. I don't know. That was a long time ago. Maybe it did have an SD card. Um, but yeah, it was a little little camera, and I was uh, yeah, I didn't didn't have. Uh, it's funny because I then I switched to like a uh slr cameras after that and did them all for years but everything other than like live streams these are just webcams but um we film everything on the cell phone now it's just so much easier the picture quality is better every video is is robin's right there and i'm turning she's walking around moving around getting the best shot with my cell phone so it's it's crazy come a long way You still use potatoes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Kevin, they they uh they work fantastic for stuff like that. It's um um I can't even remember uh, oh what it was was they make a teeny little one for for like bottle stoppers or something. I think that's where I saw it. And then so I went to work and, and had them make me a bigger one for the duck calls because you just drill them out with like a, a five eighths inch drill bit and then it slides right onto that, that tube and then it locks it in. Because with the duck calls, you got to like turn it, take it around, flip it back on, turn the other side so you can go back and forth and sand it and they work, it worked fantastic. I made a bunch of them. The mushroom. I think I probably used that mandrel thing on the mushroom video too. <laughs> right? The Flintstones. Yeah, the editing part of it. That's a whole nother learning curve, Shelby. We uh uh Robin and I we do we do all of this together. So we come we pick out a project, come out here, turn it. She films it. Then we go in and we edit the whole video together. She picks out the music and we just sit there and edit, chop down the whole, whole video and just try and make it somewhat entertaining. You know, I mean, try and put as, you know, as much as, you know, if there's something I need to explain, I, I usually do that at the end of the video, but, but we try and make the first part of the video 
just kind of, you know, the basic, the basic thing. It's like, you know, using a bowl gouge, you don't need to, you know, I've explained that a hundred times and a thousand other people have explained that. So I just, tr we try to make the video, you know, entertaining, fun, watch the project come to life. And in the, and then at the end of the video, I'll stand there and talk and, and explain any issues I had had, you know, why I was doing it or just little tips and tricks on if you want to want to make the same thing. Um, so it's, it's kind of like some of the, some of the projects too, it's like not, you know, if it's a bowl, everybody's going to make a bowl but if it's some of them uh, I, the chances of somebody else making another one of those is probably pretty low so out of everybody that watches and maybe one or two people actually wants to make like the millennium falcon or something like that so i, I you really don't need to explain a whole lot it's just fun to watch you know so Are we doing a live demo every week? No, we're not, but it might seem like that now. We just, we ran out of time. That's why we, we are trying to get the house painted and everything. So that's why we just said, we're going to do a live and instead, but we were going to do it on Saturday and then we ran out of time. I'm was covered in red paint. And so that's why we decided to do it today. Um, but it might seem like it because we just did one last week for the virtual craft uh festival we're doing another one on the 19th so they just kind of are popping up and if if we run out of time or something then we'll then we'll do a live so but we're still on track still doing project stuff but um yeah i um if you follow me on facebook or instagram too you probably see things like i have a, a sink turning class coming up so it's one of those things you'll probably see a post and then that i'm going to be teaching that class or something but no, it just kind of worked out that way the last couple of weeks. Thank you, Becky. That was one of my favorite projects. That there's been there's been a couple of them I really love. I've been a Star Wars fan, you know, since I was little, and that was that was one of my favorite ones. Um, it was just fun to, you know, as you're making it, just fit all the pieces together and make it look good. And yeah, it was it was fun just just trying to fit all of it together. Thank you very much, Matt. I really appreciate that. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that's awesome. Sorry, I, you know, Bruce. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a lot of fun. Thank you. I hope so too. I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Yeah. I don't do Facebook. Um, okay. Yeah. So, uh, Ross, I'll, I'll mention it like in next week's video, I'll mention when it is, but I, uh, yes, I think we're, we're all confirmed. Is Jamie still in the chat? Maybe he fell asleep. Oh, Probably, I believe the virtual craft festival. It, we're going to do it again. It's going to going to start out over in Europe. They're going to do eight hours, and then we'll come over to the U.S. and we'll do eight hours. So it's going to be sixteen different people, and it'll be going all all day long. Um, but I believe it's on the nineteenth of September. So, but I will I will mention it in the in the videos at the end when I, when I'm doing my wrap up. I'll mention when it is. So, and we have a couple of videos before that. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I did. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But I'll, I'll, I'll mention it in the videos when everything's coming up and we might even do another live, you know, before then, depending on what's going on around here. We're just trying to get everything wrapped up before summer is over. It was Jamie sleeping. Jamie, you were supposed to pop up with a, some sort of link or something for the virtual craft festival for the website. So is it the 19th? Are we locked in on the 19th? It's, it's almost dry. It's still got a couple little wet spots, but it's getting there. Yeah. You kind of see where 
It's all dry right there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah, that that website right there that Jamie just put up, it's uh it has all the information too. Then it tells you who all's going to be on there, what time it starts. Like I said, it'll start in Europe again. Um we uh, have uh I think already a couple o people over there confirmed. It's actually uh Ahmad in Kuwait. He's actually going to going to do it and so but he's he's more on their time zone. So uh we got uh, uh Anakin's is from Spain uh and then there'll be a bunch of people in the UK and then we'll come over here and do like Canada and the US for our, our time zone yeah I did dry stuff in the microwave all right all right all right guys I'll I'll get that cleared and put some pictures up on Instagram and I'll just I'll show it in the next video too when we do a, a project video I'll show it and oh before I go real quick a lot of you are probably you remember that it's all dry I'm gonna turn that I'm gonna finish that turn that um, I think it's been about a month but it's all dry I've been had it had it in the bags just kept rotating it around and it's all dry and look at this it just shrunk up and the little uh, band came off it all shrunk up. I put that on there to keep it from cracking, but yeah, it's all good and ready to go. Yes, it, Valerie is. I know I kept uh, answering back when he would comment on the videos and calling him Costas, but his name is Anicus. Is that his first name is Anicus? I think Costas is his surname. Yes, in Spain. Hi, Sandy. G goodbye. Where? <laughs> All right, we got to get back to work. We got some more trim to paint. I uh, hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed it. Um, if you just came on, Sandy, we just finished that up. And we're going to get some clear on. I'll put some pictures up on Instagram and I'll show it in the next video too. But yeah, fun stuff. All right, guys, have a great last couple hours of the weekend and we will see you next week. All right. All right. Bye guys.